Ronald Ross was born on 13th May 1857 as son of Sir C. C. G. Ross, a general in English Army. He commenced the study of medicine in London in 1875, entered the Indian Medical Service in 1881. He commenced the study of malaria in 1892. In 1894, he determined to make an experimental investigation in India that mosquitoes are connected with the propagation of the disease. After two and a half years failure, Ross succeeded in demonstrating the life cycle of the parasites in malaria and mosquitoes, thus establishing the hypothesis of Leverin and Manson. In 1899, he joined the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine under the direction of Sir Alfred Jones. He was immediately sent to West Africa to continue his investigations and there he found the species of mosquitoes which convey the deadly African fever. Since then, the school has been unremitting in efforts to improve health and especially to reduce the malaria in West Africa. Ross researchers have been confirmed and assisted by many distinguished authorities, especially by Coach, Daniels, Big Nami and many others. In 1901, Ross was elected a Fellow of Royal College of Surgeons of England and also a Fellow of Royal Society of which he became Vice President from 1911 to 1913. In 1902, he was appointed a companion of the Most Honourable Order of Bath by His Majesty the King of Great Britain. In 1911, he was elevated to the rank of Knight Commander of the same order. In Belgium, he was made an officer in the Order of Leopold II. In 1902, a movement was set on foot to commemorate his valuable services rendered to the School of Tropical Medicine by its originator and chairman Sir Alfred Jones by founding a chair of Tropical Medicine in University College. The movement was met with enthusiastic support and an amount of money was quickly collected sufficient to found Sir Alfred Jones Chair of Tropical Medicine. Ross was appointed to the professorship in 1902 and retained the chair until 1912 when he left Liverpool and appointed physician for tropical diseases at Knights College Hospital, London. A post which he held together with chair of tropical sanitation in Liverpool. He remained in these posts until 1917 when he was appointed consultant in malariology to the war office. His service in this capacity and in a special connection with epidemic malaria then occurring on combatant troops being recognized by his elevation to the rank of Knight Commander. He was later appointed consultant in malaria to the Ministry of Pensions. In 1926, he assumed the post of Director-in-Chief of the Ross Institute and Hospital of Tropical Diseases and Hygiene, which had been created by admirers of his work, and he remained in this position until his death. He was also a President of the Society of Tropical Medicine. During his active career, Ross' interest lay mainly in the initiation of measures for the prevention of malaria in different countries of the world. He carried out surveys and initiated schemes in many places, including West Africa, the Swiss Canal Zone, Greece, Mauritius and in the areas affected by the 1940 to 1918 war. He also initiated organizations which have proved to be well established for the prevention of malaria within the planting industries of India and Ceylon. He made many contributions to the epidemiology of malaria 
and to methods of its survey and assessment. But perhaps his greatest was the development of mathematical models for the study of his epidemiology initiated in his report on Mauritius in 1908 which elaborated in his prevention of malaria in 1911 and further elaborated in a more generalized form in scientific papers published in the Royal Society in 1915 and 1916. These papers represented a profound mathematical interest which was not confined to the epidemiology but led him to make material contributions to both pure and applied mathematics. Through these works, Ross continued his great contribution in the form of the discovery of the transmission of malaria by the mosquitoes. He received many honors in addition to the Nobel Prize and was given honorary membership of learned society of most countries of Europe and of many other continents. He got an honorary MD degree in Scott Home in 1910. He enjoyed a vast circle of friends in Europe, Asia and America who respected him for his personality as well as for his genius. Ross married Rosa in 1989. They had two sons, Ronald and Charles, and two daughters, Dorothy and Sylvia. His wife died in 1931. Ross survived her until a year later, when he died after a long illness at the Ross Institute London on September 16, 1932. Thank you for watching Edupedia World. Please subscribe to watch more videos.